In this video, we will cover the number functions. When we are getting a numeric value, whether a decimal number or non-decimal number, we can go for the number functions if we are required to make some manipulations. For example, we, if we have a decimal number and I want to round off that particular number or I want to truncate that particular number, we have the separate functions for that. So let's start with the implementation of them. Number functions are pretty straightforward where you can use a decimal or non-decimal number. So let's start with the number function and the first function which we are going to discuss is the mod function. When you divide a number with some another number, something which is there in the remainder is called the modulus value. So for example, if you will divide 7 by 2, then in the quotient you will get 3 and in the remainder you will get 1. So let's say from dual which is again a dummy table and here you can get the 1. So whenever you want to calculate a modulus we don't have an operator here like in some programming languages we do have a percentage operator which calculates the mod but here we have the uh, modulus function named mod which can calculate for you the remainder. Apart from that, we do have something called round function. For example, if I have a value, let's use the round function first. And inside this, maybe I have a value like 3, 4 point something like this. All right. Means here, I want like after decimal, I want to get only two places value. All right. Means after decimal, only two places value should be there. So uh, let's say from dual and after that you can see like it is being rounded off till this particular point and since after this the value is above 50 so it will be rounded off to the upper limit if you will use a trunk rather than using a round here so it will only always be truncated to the lower limit means whether it after 4 it is 9 or something it will be truncated to the lower limit but if you are putting anything uh, above a 5 or even 5 it will be rounded off to the upper value uh, always for example if I will do 1 right here so what it will do it will just round off to the 1 decimal place after 3 there is something 4 alright 4 is somewhat near to 0 alright in the lower limit so when you will say a round uh, rather than trunk I will go for round here first alright so 34.3 and after that you can see 4 is here alright so it will be round off to the lower limit and rather than returning 34.4 it will return us 34.3 alright as you can see right here but if I will put something above 5 alright so it will definitely return us 34.4 so for round it matters like which is the nearby point whether the upper zero limit or lower zero limit but for trunk it actually doesn't matter uh, whichever uh, at point you are standing in maybe if I'll say 3 9 5 6 but if I will go for trunk it will anyhow round it off to the lower limit so uh, this is how you can go for the trunk round and mod functions provided by the oracle for the numbers.